Alright, let's get straight to the content. Dowsing a fire during the Temple Ross encounter rewards 40 points. This has no cap. You can see where this is going. Every part of this method is important to create as much fire as possible. It is important to understand that waves, storm clouds, and lightning cannot happen while the boss is below 10% energy, so we're pretty much always going to keep it below 10% energy. Start out by catching 9 fish, then go cook them. The leaping fish spot should spawn around the time you finish cooking those fish. Go catch 8 more fish for a total of 17 fish. Cook them, and then load them into the cannon. Sometime during the second cooking session, you'll have to tether yourself to the pole and then return to cooking. From here on out, do your best to not put out any flames unless they're blocking your way. The more fire, the more points. The Temple Ross should now be down to 4% energy and it should no longer be able to cast special attacks. Now go and cook and catch 19 more fish. Pay attention to the fire as it can spread to where you're standing and burn your fish. Load the cannon fully once you've cooked all your fish. Do not attack the boss until you've loaded all of your fish. Then attack the boss until it's at 97% energy again. Once the Temple Ross resurfaces, grab an inventory full of buckets and cast Humidify. Now clear out the fire on your side of the island, including the boat. We'll take care of the other side during the next phase. Once the fire has been cleared out, go and catch and cook another 19 fish. Load them into the cannon fully, and then go damage the boss just like before. Once again, when the Temple Ross resurfaces, grab an inventory of buckets and proceed to clear out the flames on the other side of the island. Avoid clearing out as many flames towards the middle as you can, as these can still spread, and you can make your way back to them as you clear out the rest of the fire. At some point while you're clearing fires out, grab two fish. There's no need to cook these. Once you've cleared all of the fires out, load the cannon and finish off the boss. As stated in the title of the video, this method will net you anywhere from 80 to 85 permits per hour, however you do have to pay a lot of attention to the fire randomly spreading on top of you. If you would like a more reclined experience, I would recommend clearing out the fire on your side of the island as soon as possible, that way you only have to worry about the fire on the other side of the island. This will probably net you somewhere from 75 to 80 permits per hour. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll be in the comments answering any questions as soon as I can.